many far and wide. You have set the bar and you've raised it time and time again. And I am so humbled to stand before you as I strive to convey your impact in words. As you know, I was unable to attend the awards last year as my grandmother passed away. As you also probably know, she would have been the first person to insist that I still come to be with you all instead of going to her. <clears throat> and that's precisely why I know exactly one year on that she is looking down on all of us tonight, happy we're together, continuing to spotlight such an incredible community. For years, I've been patron of Wellchild. I've always been amazed by the care and kindness that this organization lives and breathes. I've spoken with countless families who have shared such gratitude for the comprehensive, around-the-clock support that they've received from World Child's Family Network. I've been struck by the immense power that comes from connecting families with others who understand and truly see them, and how World Child has become an emotional support and information lifeline for many during the pandemic and beyond. The fact this network has since grown to more than 3,000 families is nothing short of remarkable. As a father of two and three dogs, so basically five souls, <laughs> I'm acutely aware of the many joys and challenges that come with parenting. And that's with kids who aren't facing health challenges. So to the parent carers in this room, you have my sincerest admiration and respect. The level of support and responsibility you share daily is unrivaled and without fail. You deserve all the assistance that you need, whether it's training enough skilled carers to help short of the increasing demands of 24-7 care routines, or simply providing time and space for you to take a break once in a while. It is our collective responsibility to continue to provide new and existing resources for you to advocate on your behalf and to help in any way that we can. You are all proof that not all superheroes wear capes. To the child health and social care professionals, including World Child Nurses in the room, I want to say thank you from all of us. With no shortage of obstacles, workforce pressures and a growing number of families who need your help, we recognise all that you do the sacrifices you make, and your unwillingness to falter. Tonight, we have seen what is possible for these young people when they receive unparalleled support from people like you. So, you too are truly awesome. To tonight's sponsors, I hope you feel firsthand the fruits of your generosity in the room this evening, particularly GSK, thanks to Gabby, who now signed up for a lifetime, um, <laughs> without whom this celebration simply would not be possible. We now have more than 50 World Child nurses across the UK, and will soon have World Child Better at Home training units in every country within the UK. This is a massive achievement, and a huge step forward in ensuring parents, carers, and the people around them have the skills and confidence to care for their children at home. Creating confidence, com confident communities by harnessing skills and prioritised education for care is critical in giving World Child children and families the best chance to thrive. With the number of children and young people living with complex medical needs growing year after year, there is much to do. As World Child prepares to set its course with a new strategy for the upcoming years, I urge us all to support this essential organisation so we can ensure that future generations of youth can grow to meet their full potential at home rather than being stuck in hospital. Lastly, a massive congratulations to our winners. Thank you for your courage, your optimism, and of course, your incredible sense of humour. Your stories energise and encourage us to want to do more everywhere that we go. So, just keep being you, and thanks for having me.